If you were to ask me what my favorite car part is, this video will be your answer. I mean, it literally got me falling in love with cars. As soon as I heard a Cam V8 motor, I knew I didn't want nothing else. You could feel it in your chest. You could feel the ground moving. You can just feel the power in the idle. And that's one of the things I absolutely love. Today, we're gonna carry on the legacy because all my builds back from my 2008 Mustang GT, including my 2014 GT500 and my two classic cars, they all had cams. And we are going to continue that legacy today by adding a cam to my 2015 Z06 Corvette. I hope you enjoy the show. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. If you like my Cowdy Swap Classic Mustang, I got some merch down in the description as well that you may like. Go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and start this video and cam this Z06. All right, guys, we're doing something a little bit different than usual. You know how I always show you guys myself working on my own cars, show you guys the how-to, I dissect the motor, show you guys the mods we're doing and the results and all that. Well, this time I'm not doing the work for multiple different reasons. I'm not going to go about doing excuses. I just don't know the LSLT platform. It is complete foreign language to me and we're doing a pretty big install. This motor itself is about fifteen to $20,000 and I do not want to screw up anything because I have a pretty bad history on blowing motors and I do not want a motor to be blown again. So I'm sending it off to a professional. The professional is Uncle Boost. I basically know him just by hanging out in the car community. He cammed John's ZR1, which John has been on the channel previously. He drifted the GT500. He's been on the Netflix series. You guys know John, or at least a lot of you guys know who John is, and his Corvette made 800 rear wheel horsepower. Uncle Boost specializes in LS and LT motors, so I have all the faith in him to do the work on my car. However, he's in Marietta. Marietta is 70 miles away from me. We're going to be installing a lot of parts, which I'm going to roll back some videos to show you guys what we have installed, so keep you guys caught up. But I'm not going to go over there and do the install because this is a lot of work. He needs about a week to go ahead and complete. So I'm going to tow it to Uncle Boost. I'm going to let him do it. I told him to take videos. I told him to take photos so I could show you guys what's going on. And then we're going to tow it back, tune it at New Era, and show you guys all the results. So that's the game plan for today. We're not doing the work. We're letting a professional do it, and we're going to enjoy the ride. So with all that being said and done, let's go ahead and roll the clip back on what we are installing on the Z06 Corvette. For the supercharger, you already know we're going with the upper supercharger pulley. This is the 2.3. This is going to add about like two pounds of boost or so. Nothing too crazy. Now, when you do a smaller upper, you need an auxiliary pump to add that extra fuel. So I got the aux pump to make sure we're not running lean at all. Next is the ATI damper. This is going to absorb all of the uh, crank abuse that it gets, as well as the lower pulley. Of course, we're going with the BTR stage two camshaft. You guys already know what's good. And we're going to get some head insurance. So right here, we got the valve springs from BTR and some BTR push rods too. To carry on with the uh, rocker set, we got Trunin kit. Another insurance is gonna be the ARP hardware. All built motors have them. And then to ignite the spark, we have the MSD spark plug wires. Other than that, it's just basic miscellaneous gaskets and stuff you probably don't wanna hear about. Finally that time, we're getting the Corvette cammed here. Waiting for the tow truck to come. It's actually right there. Perfect timing. Time to get this thing where it needs to be. Man, I am excited for this. Been waiting for six full months. Let's make sure that the car is all packed up and ready to go. Mustang GT. I had it with my Shelby GT500, with my AC Cobra, with my Mustang. And now we're going to be doing it with the Corvette. You can't have a Corvette without a cam. I'm sorry. That's just the way to go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I'll let the guy know that you're on her way. 
the Z06 is at Uncle Boo's pad. He completed it. I'm super excited to finally get the car back. And I have photos. I'm going to show you what went on, what he did. It's not all the most detailed. I wish I was there recording it so I could give you guys the best content. But we're going to go over what he sent over and basically go from there. So when he got the motor, he took the heads off. Simple as that. When he got the car, he immediately went about taking and disassembling everything. Now we're down to the short block. And he actually noticed something that was very, very concerning. My motor was on the verge of a complete disaster. If I would have kept on driving this motor, it would have blown up and let me show you why. So, I don't know if you can tell, but like, if you look at, these are those stupid DOD lifters. Um, this one sits quite a bit further down in the lifter tray. And this one has actually, like, I guess it has failed. And uh, see how it can move around like that so that's as the push rod was moving up and down in here it was actually uh rubbing this and that's where that mark came from because it's at the exact um height of that um dod lifter so one of the push rods had wear because of the dod system inside of these corvettes did you guys see it was literally getting thinner and thinner and thinner if that would have snapped god knows what have happened to my full entire motor that would have been absolutely disaster huge shout out to Uncle Boost for finding that and fixing it because we are upgrading it with the BTR push rods and a complete head assembly. So now that we have that, we're getting brand new parts. Let's go over what we're getting installed. So the first thing is the rockers. He took out the rockers and what we're gonna do is, is push out those stock guts and that's what my Trunian set from CHE is going to do. He basically assembled that and now we're good to go. So now let's talk about the springs. So essentially these are the BTR racing springs. This is what the cam needs. This is everything so that valves do not float, valves do not drop, that the valves are going up and down exactly how they're supposed to be. And now we have the cam, this is the BTR stage two cam and the stock cam side by side. You're not gonna tell a difference, but it's all in the specs. And we got the BTR stage two cam installed on the short block. And from there, it's essentially just dress up. He went about dressing the full entire motor. We did the ARP studs, as well as all the miscellaneous, the gaskets, uh, the exhaust, everything put back together, filled it up with oil and cooling and all that stuff. And that's essentially it. Let's go ahead and take delivery of it and do our first startup right here at the house. The Corvette is finally getting delivered after a full week of the cam install. We got a can Corvette, holy smokes. Oh, there's a cam, the C7 Corvette, right behind me. This is actually insane. I don't even know what to feel right now. I'm gonna go ahead and do a fire up. I'm not supposed to. They say that you can, like usually with LS motors, when you put a cam, you can go about running and adjusting it. The LTs, I guess, are a little bit more sensitive, but he said that it should be okay for startup and idle but i don't want to mess it up so we're going to turn it on just for a little bit and then we're going to turn it right off because again i don't want to get this thing broken again and i already have an appointment with new era and i'm gonna tow this thing over there so i don't take any chances so let's go ahead and fire up one more time let's hear the chop and then turn it off and then wait for the tune and go from there so let's get it I'm kind of nervous i'm not gonna lie but let's go ahead and fire it up
open, yo. We got the cab and the car is actually shaking. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want to ruin it. But do you hear the chop? It is without a tune. And I know that the tune you can basically causes the most chop, but this thing, she is cammed and my vision is finally complete. We're gonna get this thing over to New Era Performance to get dialed in. We're gonna make a lot of horsepower together. I'll show you guys all the details and then go from there. Let's fast forward till then. Good morning guys, this is currently 8.30 in the morning. The tow truck is on. It is tuning day, New Era Performance. I'm gonna go about backing this thing up, waiting for the tow truck and heading two hours up north. Usually it takes about one, but traffic is gonna be pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and fire up and uh, wait for this tow truck to come pick us up. Sorry, neighbors. That was literally so fast. As soon as I bring this thing out, tow truck guy comes. Perfect timing. I love the way this thing rocks. Dialing in the stage two cam with Alex. Let's see if we can make some serious power. Dial her in and get that shot. We load the Corvette onto the dyno once more. Alex is dialing in the tune here. One thing with this setup, it might get a little hot real quick, but we're gonna see if we could get some good numbers off of the first one, and then we'll just hope for the best. So let's go ahead and get this tune loaded on. I did ask Alex as well how much horsepower we should be expecting, about 670 to the wheels or so. We'll see how far we could go. Got it right on the spot. 678 on the first pull. How much torque was that? 764 foot pounds of torque. I thought it would be like 700. Jeez. When did it start pulling timing? Oh. Jeez. Car got real hot on the first pull, pulled one degree. 678 is going to be our first 
first pull here that we have. We're letting the car cool down just for a tad bit, but check out this C6 Z06. When I was looking for the uh, for my car, it was either a ZR1, a C6, or the C7 Z06, but man, these things are just timeless. Classic American race car with the big old meats in the back. This thing would have been nice to have. Six seventy one on that last pull, not too shabby. Alex is getting it right on the dock where he says the six seventy eight is probably going to be our glory pull for the day. We're still going to go ahead and dial in. There are still some things we got to do. We got to get the blend back into the car, and uh, hopefully everything is sorted out. So we got the chop dial in. This thing is absolutely loud. Got another ZL one right here too, and another one, and <laughs> another one over there. I think there's one right here too. Yep. Oh no, that's SS. LT four is everywhere. I do next I can port the blower with the larger throttle body I can go the Magnuson 2650 and I could also shoot some nitrous at this I do have my options available here comment down below what I should do but right now 680 and 770 foot-pounds of torque I'm gonna have some issues with overheating and traction so that's gonna be the next two things I'm gonna do fix on this car so that we don't overheat and lose power or lose traction and just spin so that will be on the next videos to come
683, nice. That's the highest one we've ever done. 768 foot pounds of torque. Well, actually, it was uh, 689 that I'd see there. That's crazy. <laughs> Turning up the dyno. Super happy to see this. So it's extremely hot here today, about 95 degrees or so. Car is pulling timing. What we're gonna do is get a bag of ice, put it into the little ice tank that I have, the um, expansion tank. And then hopefully we get the temps to run that 700 rear remark, which will be an awesome accomplishment that we do today. We're gonna go grab a bag of ice, put it in there, let it cool down, and then do one last rip. But Alex is pretty much done with the car. Seven foot pounds of torque. We did it. That's awesome. 700 rear wheel horsepower, 790 foot pounds of torque. Success here camming the car at New Era. Huge shout out to Alex for about getting everything dialed in here. Man, I'm excited to take this thing on the road. We got the cam finally installed. We got the horsepower, horsepower numbers I was looking for. And now, go ahead and enjoy this thing so huge shout out new era again go ahead and look check them out if you need your gm car no matter if it's camaro corvette cadillac ctsv whatever it is trucks too they're also really big into trucks hit up new era top and gains is it 80 horsepower above 6200 yeah right at 6200 <laughs> Eighty-five horsepower fly on the top end there. Seventy-two foot-pounds of torque. Nice. Yeah, the ice part is kind of just a glory pool, just like a cool down. Yeah. Um, when you're on the street, you can't be icing that thing down. Yeah, I know for real. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people will do an actual ice tank in the back, and then you can put three bags of ice uh -huh. for you to go make an actual quarter mile hit. Yeah. But for roll racing, you can't. You can't. I mean, yeah. That's why I suggest a chiller if you roll racing. Chiller, okay. That'll keep the temps down. All right, I'm gonna look into that. N2652. I mean, you do a 2650, you don't need a 10 chiller. Oh yeah, okay. 